Hello and welcome to a Hints and Tips extravaganza from the Games Arena, your source of the most comprehensive range of the latest titles on console. We've teamed up with a video game shopper magazine to bring you all the latest action on your machine. Check out Star Wing, some of the most impressive graphics you've yet seen on SNES. Or the mischievous fidgets on your Game Boy. Another reality hits your SNES with the incredible Lawn Mower Map. Jurassic Park. It's all here on the tape. We'll show you some of the best levels for the games and help you deal with some of the trickier moments. Starwing on the SNES pushes the machine to the limit. Take a look at this and see why it's one of the most talked about games around. Using the power of the Super FX chip, the programmer's Argonaut have created a tour de force in space combat for your Super NES. You play Fox McCloud as you lead a team of top space fighter pilots into the deep beyond. Your pal Slippy will occasionally pop up to tell you what's happening to the rest of the crew, but taking down the enemy ships is up to you.
Good luck. You start off skimming over and through the solid 3D landscape of your home planet. Take out those incoming ships with your side cannons, and before long you'll be on level 2 and heading off to another planet. The action never lets up for one second. Nintendo have sold more copies of Star Wing than any other Super NES game, which can only mean one thing. This is the fastest, most frenetic shoot 'em up you're ever likely to play.
Good luck. The Adventures of Dr. Franken on the SNES is a challenging platform adventure with enough levels to keep you busy for weeks. Tackle this if you've got the spine for it. When Mary Shelley created Frankenstein, she had no idea this is how he'd turn out. Elite have taken the monster and placed him at the center of a madcap globe-trotting platform adventure. Frankie's lost the bits to his passport, and without them, he can't get home to his maker. You have to search the dark and dangerous platforms of each level and locate the four sections of the passport to find the exit to the next level. Along the way, you'll meet all sorts of strange creatures. Some alive, some dead, and some undead. Whatever they are though, Frankie has four ways of dealing with them. He can either spin attack them, kick them, punch them, or lastly, just walk into them. Although these guys aren't out to make friends, and he'll end up losing a life if he does stupid things like that. Although it's almost worth killing Frankie to watch his dying screams over and over again.
Enter the bright and colourful world of Bubsy the Bobcat for an adventure in another world. This is what Nintendo was made for. Possibly go wrong. Bubsy's the coolest bobcat around. Like any cat worth his litter, Bubsy has a certain attraction to balls of wool. But so do the woolies, and they've stolen all the balls of wool from Earth, so that Bubsy and his friends can't have any more fun. Now Bubsy must venture into the outside world and recover all the balls of wool. Accolade have packed this tough arcade adventure with crazy characters and beautiful backgrounds. Animation is top quality, and watch those hundreds of ways in which Bubsy can snuff it. There are 14 levels in all, each with their own look and gameplay, which makes the Bobcat a tough one to tame. like a bridge too short.
The Legend of Zelda shows just how much fun the Game Boy can be. Get set for Link's Awakening. Zell has appeared three times on the NES and one on the Super NES, but it's taken till now to pack the immense fantasy adventure into the more compact confines of the Game Boy. But Nintendo have done it, and what a mighty fine job they've made of it. The name of the main character is Link, and now he's found himself on the mysterious Corland Island, a place where dreams and reality collide. As a castaway, Link must find a way to escape from the island and return to his beloved homeland of Hyrule, attacking the chickens on the way. And that's when things really start hotting up.
Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition achieves the near impossible by improving on the stunning original. Not only is it faster, it has more moves than ever before. Capcom's Corking Arcade Cruncher smashes onto your Super NES yet again, but this time you can control all the bosses too. Yes, that's right, all your favorites are back, including leg-chopping Chun-Li, hand-slapping Eddie Honda, and Dopey Dal Sim. Plus, you get the chance to fight with Sagat, Vega, Balrog, and the boss of the lot, Mike Bison. Special moves come in all shapes and sizes, like Chun-Li's spinning leg attack, Ken's fireball throwing, Eddie Honda's diving, Blanka's electric shock, Dal Sim's yoga flame, Guile's spinning blade, Vega's cage jumping, Balrog's big punch, Sackert's cyber cut, and the bison flaming torpedo. The action's already twice as quick as the original, but if you want to go even faster, then using Joypad 2, enter down, right button, up, left button, Y, B, X and A on the title screen. If you've done it right, you'll hear a ping and see five extra stars on the turbo setting. Now that is fast.
Pinball Dreams is just the kind of game your Game Boy needs. Fast moving fun for all to keep you busy for hours. Fancy having a pinball table in your pocket? Well, that's what Game Tech have done with a Game Boy version of Pinball Dreams. In fact, there's not just one table here, but three. Every one of them's as tough as nails. And you'd better pray your nails are tough too, because you'll be biting them in frustration if you can't get your ball out of a tight spot and accumulate enough points to qualify for the next table. Now, best of all, you can tilt the machine and not set off any alarms.
In the fidgets, you control two characters at once, both with very different characteristics. Another great game to keep you busy on your Game Boy. You know how it is when you go shopping and get separated from your parents or your friends. Well, that's exactly what's happened to Frankie and Freddy on their trip to the Big Apple. Now, you must help the brothers escape from the docks and find their parents. But things aren't that easy. You see, Freddy is a bit lanky, but not very strong, so don't expect him to do any tough jobs. Frankie, though, has all the muscle, but is a little rotund and can't jump that far. By switching between the two players and helping them to help each other, they should be able to escape from this place. Seven levels consisting of nearly 800 screens means this is one game to keep even fidgets still for a while. Jurassic Park is available on both SNES and NES. We take a look at some of the many hidden levels on the SNES version. Seen the film, worn the t-shirt, eaten from the lunchbox, and now, from Ocean, you can play the video game. You take the role of the film's main character, Dr. Grant, as he finds himself all alone inside Jurassic Park. Now, you must help him find the two children who have somehow got lost amongst the foliage. Don't worry about dinosaurs, though, for you are thoughtfully equipped with an electric cattle prod, which is great against the little raptors, but not much use when you're being chased by a 60-foot T-Rex. The only way to escape from them is to dive into the bunkers, which switches the view to a virtual reality 3D environment. Raptors are crawling all over the place, so find some more weapons as soon as you can. When you've finally located the kids, you must take them back to the visitor center, where you meet up with the rest of the gang and finally get off the island, leaving the dinosaurs to die naturally. It's just like the film. The only thing you need is the popcorn. Thank <laughs> you. 
Super Mario All-Stars is a great value combination of four Super Mario games on one cart. It's a massive cart with enough action to keep you going till the year 2000. Great value. You've already had Mario once on the Super NES, but now get ready for not one, not two, not even three, but four brand new Super NES Mario games, all in one cart. But that doesn't mean these games are small. No, they're just as big as the NES games they came from originally, and they were massive. The four games you get here are the three original Mario games, plus Mario The Lost Levels, a European version of Super Mario Bros. USA. All your old favorites are here, including Bowser, Princess, Toad, Koopa Trooper, and even Donkey Kong. Get the coins, kill the bad guys, and rescue the girl. It's all in a day's work for the plumbers Mario and Luigi. The Lawnmower Man is an attempt at virtual reality on your SNES. If you can't afford a VR machine, this might be the next best thing. Another top film gets converted to the Super NES, and this game's been years in the making. In fact, even before they'd finished the film, they'd started work on the game. Its makers, the sales curve, hope it'll be the nearest thing you get to virtual reality without actually being there. You have to control the doctor, who's been experimenting on Joel, a dumb gardener they call the Lawnmower Man. But the experiments have backfired on you, and your creation has turned into a monster. You must travel over a platform section and get to the laboratory before Joel goes completely off his rocker and starts taking over the universe. When you finally reach there, avoiding various hyper-reality enemies along the way, you must strap on your suit and enter virtual reality yourself. If you can bring Joel out of it, everything will be fine. But if you die, well, who knows what could happen.
cool spot is quite simply an absolute must for your snares. Great sounds, great graphics, and great fun. What more do you want? Boasting the programming talents of Dave Perry, the man who brought us the incredible Global Gladiators and Aladdin on the Mega Drive, Cool Spot has taken the Super NES world by storm. Never before have you seen such smooth animation, such colorful backdrops, and so much attention to detail that you'll feel as if you're there. Spot is inspired by the red dot on 7-up cans and consequently is uh, very cool and quite bubbly. Unfortunately, all his friends have been kidnapped. And now he must venture onto the beach, through the docks, and over the water to rescue his pals. Cool Spot features a fantastic introduction, pumping sound, and compelling gameplay, making this one awesome cart you should not miss out on. Video Game Shopper is a brand new magazine packed with news and buying guides on what's hot on your machine as well as news on what machines and software you can expect in the future. In the first issue we have a hands-on comparison of Atari's new Jaguar console and the mighty 3DO. Take a look at VGS. We've got some startling news for you. £1.25 out November the 27th. Be there. 